Hello, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. My name is Steve Swenson from TaxSellSupport.com. Uh, we've had a lot of questions come in about California auctions and some of the upcoming auctions and just questions about what kind of properties are offered at California tax deed auctions. And so what I want to do is just spend a few minutes with you and show you some of the upcoming auctions that are going to be taking place over the next uh, 30 to 60 days or so. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're just going to go on to TaxSellSupport.com and we're going to go to the auction calendar. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time looking at this auction because it's taking place pretty soon. Uh, so you know most of you won't have a chance to uh, register for it, but I do want to show it to you. It's, it's Kern County, California. And so of course here you can see the different auctions that are taking place. Uh, this month and Kern's taking place on the 27th. So uh, we can see all the different counties that are having auctions, but we're going to go ahead and click on this link here that's going to take us to the online auction page. So we're not going to spend a ton of time going through all of these properties, but I just want to show you this is Kern County, California, and this is actually an online auction. So this is an auction that you could actually bid uh, online. You don't need to attend the auction. Now you can see the different uh, types of properties, these links here will connect us to uh, property information, uh, to the assessor information, so we can see that this here is uh, some type of cafe it looks like. Uh, and in addition with this cafe, we can also see that this particular property has an IRS lien affecting the property, and the IRS has the option of purchasing the property from the buyer within 120 days. So that's usually what's going to happen with an IRS lien. Most of the time, at least it seems like a good majority of the time, the IRS is just going to go ahead and uh, you know take off the lien. Uh, but if they do buy it, then you're going to be paid back. So you, you know, you're going to have that option. Uh, and then, of course, this here, you can click on this as well. Uh, it's going to take you to the uh, GSI map, the county's map. Uh, and so, uh, you know, with a list like this, that's one thing that's nice about an online list is it gives you the ability to, to uh, search the properties. We can add satellite view. And so we can see that this, this lot right here and this property located right here. So it looks like it is on a pretty good size lot. Uh, you know, would of course do a lot more uh, due diligence before making any decision on bidding at the auction. Uh, but you can see that there is a ton of properties. You can see that there was almost a thousand properties, uh, over a thousand properties initially offered, and there's still 814 properties for sale. So besides structured properties, we can see some different types of structured properties here. Uh, looks like some type of uh, mobile home there. Uh, there's also tons of different lots as well, and so you can click on these links and actually pull up the county GSI uh, pretty quickly and get an idea of, of what the property is and also what it's well, where it's located. So we can see this is a little building lot right here. So that's Kern County, Kern County California. Uh, as you can see, the auction's taking place. And so the, to, to submit bids for this auction, you would have had to do it by the 15th of this month. Uh, but I just wanted to, to, to let you guys see that there's auctions taking place that have a, an incredible amount of property. You know, we're looking at over 800 properties coming to auction. And probably by the time the sale starts, it's going to be pretty close to that. You know, maybe uh, 750, 800 will still be available. Uh, also, another auction that's coming up uh, on October 4th, this is the County of Placer. Now, this is actually going to be an auction that's held at the county courthouse. So, uh, you know, you're going to be uh, actually going to the county courthouse to, to attend the auction. Now, it looks like usually you can click on this Available Properties link, and it's going to take us to an online link that has that information. Uh, I don't know if the county's just taking off some of those properties or updating that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull up uh, a list that we uh, copied for our members uh, on taxhealthsupport.com. We try to have all of the list available for them. And so uh, we went ahead and just created this list uh, before. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of research on some of these properties. Just spend a few minutes. And, uh, and see what's available. So what we did is we went to the assessor's information and we were able to do a uh, parcel search. So we can see properties here starting at $50. Uh, this next property here has a $26,000 opening bid. Uh, we can see the location address here and then also uh, we can see the parcel number listed right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that parcel number really quick and we're gonna go back here to this page and we're going to uh, go ahead and copy and paste that parcel number. Now also what we're going to do 
is I'm going to pull up a Google map and we're also just going to pull up a Zillow as well uh, just as a quick resource so we can see the property here uh, here we can see the amount we can go ahead and click on this link if we wanted to to pull up the uh, the map view uh, this is going to be a, a a plat map, a, a, just a PDF map, but we'll be able to see exactly where that property is uh, through this map. Uh, also we can see some of the additional information here, of course the site address. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and check that site address out. Now we can see that this is a single family home. Uh, we can see it has a value or a assessed value of about uh, $280,000 uh, net assessment of two hundred and seventy three. Uh, we can see that it's about 1,200 square feet, got a, about a 460 square foot uh, garage built in 1986, and it's three bedrooms, two baths. Uh, so, you know, we're looking at some type of structured property here with an opening bid mount of uh, 26,000. So let's see what this property, just get a, kind of an idea of what the property is and also what it might be worth. So we can see we pull the property here. And one thing that's of course nice, uh, you know, that's so much different than when we first got started doing tax sale investing is the ability to do all these street view and, and imagery. So we can see that this here is a, a photo of the property. Uh, this image is from 2015. Now, one thing we always recommend to our students is if you're if you're purchasing structured property through some type of uh, online auction. Uh, you always want to get an on-site evaluation either through yourself or have somebody else at least get a current photo of the property. That way you can kind of at least judge the outside condition. But, you know, this particular property we're looking, you know, three bedroom, two bath, and it has an estimate of about $300,000, 305. And so we're looking here, you know, at, a, at an opening bid amount of 26000 for a property that's worth uh, over three hundred dollar uh, three hundred thousand. So, you know, overall we're looking at a pretty good bid to value ratio here. Uh, this is a property, you know, based off of the condition. We'd, we'd have to do a, a you know a better get a better idea of the condition, um, but you know that could possibly have hundred two hundred, uh, you know, even two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of potential profit uh, with this particular property even if it was bid up to fifty or hundred thousand dollars there's still quite a bit of room uh, to make some pretty good money uh, let's check out a couple of more properties here's one as well uh, let's just go ahead and check out that address we can see it's nineteen thousand eight hundred and let me pull up the uh, the parcel information as well so let's go ahead and we're going to go back here to the parcel search. We're going to click on a new search and we're going to go ahead and check it out. So here we can see the property. Here's the address. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that address so we can do a, uh, a Google search. And so we can see this property here is a single family home as well. Uh, it has a value of about 136000 uh, through the county. It was built in 1930, so it is older, three bedroom, one bath. Uh, oh, it got a, a full bath and a half bath, so actually two bed, uh, two bathrooms, one being a full and one being a half. So let's go ahead and check out this address and see if we can get a street view of the property. So there we can. It looks like it is from across the street, uh, but it looks to be this property right here. We can get zoom in, uh, look at the address there. 2115. Oh, I just kind of went off of it. Go back in, we can see 2115 right there. So there's the property. And let's go ahead and get an idea of what the uh, Zillow value might be. Sometimes it looks like it's probably having a problem pulling up the boulevard. There we go. So, you know, this property here has an estimate of 358000 uh, You know, it looks like it would rent out for almost $1,900 a month. So, you know, 
honestly, this is this is what makes tax sale investing, you know, su such a, a sweet investment strategy. Is even if even if this property gets bid up to a hundred thousand or even one hundred fifty thousand, there still could possibly be one hundred fifty to two hundred thousand dollars worth of potential profit in a property that's like this, even if there was some serious competition. And we can see these other type of properties, a $2,000 opening bid. This may be some type of building lot uh, we could check on. Uh, here's another property with some type of address. Uh, we can see it has a $21,000 opening bid. Let's check a couple of more. Uh, we just kind of want to do a quick video today and just go through and look at a few of these. Um, but let's go ahead and check out this property right here. And we're just going to get a quick idea from uh, Google. So it looks like this property doesn't have any type of street view. It looks like it's probably out in the country a bit more, uh, but is some type of structured property. Is is there is a home available on that property as well? Uh, you know, here's another property, uh, Doolittle. And one thing that's that's fun is just to kind of go through these lists and see what different type of properties are are, are going to be available for auction. Uh, you know, this with being this being a live auction means that usually it's just going to be the individual people within that area that's going to be the real competition. So usually it's just people from around that area that are attending the sale. You're not going to have outside investors. So if you happen to go to a sale like this, a lot of times there can be some pretty good uh, investment. Uh, uh, available. So this looks like it is some type of of, of uh, trailer mobile home uh, within a mobile home community. Uh, based off the roof, I would think that it may be a little bit newer. But what we can do is we can see if th we have any Zillow information to kind of get us an idea of the property's value. Okay, so even this uh, says it's a single-family home, uh, but I would imagine that it, that it is a mobile home. But we'd have to see built in 1986, uh, two bedroom, one bath. Uh, but you know, even then, they're still looking at a value of $233,000. Uh, and it looks like a lot of these properties within here uh, looks like there's quite a big range from 38,000 up to. Uh, you know, 363. So these could, these could be homes. Uh, would probably need to. Looks like that they actually are homes. Uh, based off the overhead, it looked like they could be mobile homes. But we could do a little bit more research on that, and kind of find out. We can see some of uh, some ones coming. Well, that's definitely a home. Very nice home coming up. Uh, in some, well, I guess it's for sale right there. So, uh, either way, you know, looking at an incredible investment when we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, nineteen thousand uh, dollars with with that type of an uh, overhead or with that type of investment uh, possibility. Uh, here's another property. You know, let's just check out this one here uh, before we. Uh, Move on and check out a couple of other another county real quick, and this one here is just 570. So I mean 5700. So it may not be a structured property, but let's go ahead and check it out and see. We do have the address listed here. Okay. So there is some type of structured property. We can see a nice big home right here. Oh, we can also see a nice big home here uh, with a tennis court and a pond. Uh, so this does look like it's a you know there is some nice homes within this area. This is probably more of an old farm home uh, that was here before some of these big homes moved in. Uh, we'll see if we can find a little bit more information. So it's, it looks like it's. Uh, 1.4 acres, so it's almost acre and a half. And there is a three bedroom, one bath home built on the property as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, another nice possible property uh, with 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 value. Now, let's do, let's do one thing quick and let's check it and see if there is any information on this property on Zillow.
So it does have uh, a Zillow value of 290,000, uh, three bedroom, one bath, thousand square feet. And we can see it's this property right here. We can see this, uh, here's this property next door to it is worth 813. Let's see what this big home here is worth 1.2 million. So, uh, you know, it's definitely within a, within some nice home area, a uh, nice little home. So, you know, when we're talking about a $5,700 opening bid, uh, you really can't go wrong. Uh, here's another property, 940, uh, almost a million dollars, 943,000. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what that property is. Uh, I guess we could check it real quick. I think that's the right parcel number. And it looks like it's some type of uh, vacant industrial with 14 acres and it's worth uh, 1.6 million. So, you know, based on that opening bid amount, Maybe it's worth 16. Huh. Would have to look a little bit more into that, but you know, interesting properties. We can see that there's there's quite a few properties on this list that we could go through. I'm sure this is probably a home. You know, some nice building lots. And there's probably a home there. Uh, these are probably homes uh, as well. And so you can see how many good opportunities there really is. Just so many good opportunities taking place at tax sales throughout the country. Uh, that if you can attend one of these auctions and you have some buying power, uh, you really could pick up some some pretty good properties or some pretty good investments. Looks like there's some type of property there. Uh, home looks like it's probably back within there. So uh, let's check out one more uh, upcoming auction real quick uh, before we uh, before I end this video. And this is the Los Angeles auction. So here we see uh, the uh, we just went to the tax collector within Los Angeles. Uh, we can see the list here that we could go ahead and pull up. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up that list. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we can see the list. Now, one thing we're going to automatically notice with this list is that there is 230 pages. So we're talking about a serious amount of properties that are going to be available within this list. Now we can see this list is is set up a little bit uh, different, a little bit old looking, uh, archaic a bit. Uh, but you know we deal with what we deal with. That's the one thing about tax sale investing or is you need to be a little bit flexible uh, because things can be different like this. Uh, but here we can see this looks to me like it's probably the parcel number right here. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through and look at a couple of these properties. This is in Los Angeles. So this is going to be the Los Angeles cell. Uh, and let's go ahead and see what we can see. So for this first property here, we can see uh, has a $35,000 opening bid amount. We can see the property address here as well. And then here's the legal description, the tract, lot number, etc. So what we did is we placed it in that parcel number. And uh, the county records look, you know, are pretty nice. We can see here is the Google Street, Street View. If we want to look at that more, we can go ahead and click on that. And it'll just go ahead and pull it up for us. So here we're looking at, at a, it looks like a pretty nice home within uh, Los Angeles. Uh, let's go ahead and... I'm just going to grab that address. Let me grab it right here. And let's see what type of uh, Zillow value we have on this property. Now, obviously, we're just going through and just doing a quick view of, of what some of these properties are. If you're going to be attending the sale, then you're going to get in and you're going to do some serious due diligence, uh, either to go through the title on your own, which uh, which is something that 
Uh, if you know how to do that, it's possible you can go back and research the title to make sure everything's clean uh, so there's no surprises. Really, with, with, with tax deed investing in most areas of the country, what we really need to be most worried about is any other type of governmental lien. And so that's really kind of what we're working at or what we're worried about when we're looking through tax sale properties to see if there's any other type of governmental lien. What we don't want is, is a surprise. So this property here has an opening bid of about 35000 We can see it has an estimate of 611000 three bedroom, two bath, uh, just under 2,000 square feet. Uh, and of course we can see the, you know a, a Google image of the, the property right here. Uh, we can see some of the additional information down here below, the square footage, the land, 63 feet by 112 feet, uh, some of the coding uh, information there as well. Uh, here we can see the bedrooms, the baths, uh, looks like it's four bedroom, uh, two bath, it was built uh, just under 2,000 square feet, it was built in 1959. We can see some of the additional information here, uh, the assessor information. Actually, that was the event history. So uh, any type of recording dates, uh, we're going to have that information here. And this is actually you can be used to go back and review uh, the the deed uh, to look for any type of uh, warning flags or risks that you might see. Uh, and then here's the course the assessment history, and we can go ahead and click on from more than there. But overall, we've got a pretty good idea of what this property is. Uh, it's a single family home, a uh, pretty good opening bid amount. So if we're interested in this property, uh, we could definitely do uh, some more some more research. Here's another property below this. Uh, has a $4,000 opening bid. We can see it's some type of vacant lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and pass looking on that one. It could very well be a good property. Here's another one. Uh, and this one has a property address listed as well. And we can see it has a $13,000 opening bid. So. What we're going to do is we're just going to check this parcel number and see if we can find any information on this property. Okay, so this property looks like it does have an address. It looks like it's probably some type of a building lot right here. Um, and it does have some pretty good value to it, but it doesn't look like there's any type of structure on the property. So, uh, you know, this looks like a, a, a valuable building lot. Now, we'd want to do some more research to make sure that this property is completely buildable, uh, but, uh, you know, looks to be in a, in a pretty nice area. So we'd do some more research to make sure that this is on a hill or this prop, you know, to make sure that this is the actual location. We can see the parcel map here and the map index uh, where we could pull up some additional information on that. Here's another property, a $58,000 opening bid. Let's go ahead and check out that property. And so guys, I mean, you can see that there's 230 pages here. You you know, if you're going to plan on attend the sale, there's a lot of property that you can go through and research. And that's one thing I love about big auctions is there's enough competition, or I mean, guess there's enough properties available that that it can really help help that competition, so that you can pick up some really uh, really some pretty good deals uh, by attending some of these auctions. So we can see this one looks like it is some type of uh, structured property home. Uh, three bedroom, three bath, about 2,200 square feet, built in 1960 or 66. Uh, looks like it has some pretty good value. They're saying 508 here. And let's go ahead and look at this property. Actually, we can just click right here on Google Maps. Sorry about that. And could be this home right here. Let's let's see what we can see on Google. I mean on Zillow with this. Uh, $841,000. Okay, so here's a property with a $58,000 opening bid worth uh, you know, 841,000. 
Uh, and so this is, you know, this is what makes tax sale investing so, so, so great. Now, even if some of these properties are gone, there's still going to be so many properties within this list that investors are going to have a chance if they go through and do good research to pick up some property, even with uh, some competition. I mean, even if this was to go, uh, was to bid up for, you know, four or five times what the minimum bid is, there would still be four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars of potential profit within this property. And you, and even though we're looking at more expensive properties here, you can use that same strategy with maybe a five thousand dollar property or a ten thousand dollar property that may be worth, uh, you know, eighty or a hundred thousand dollars, maybe some type of good building lot that you can turn around and pick up and turn around and sell. Uh, and make a pretty good return on as well. Uh, and so, you know, there's there's obviously, uh, you know, a ton of good auctions coming up. California is a uh, an exciting state to invest into. Um, if you guys have any questions, if we can help you, uh, you know, definitely come here to uh, taxosupport.com. Uh, we have our list service with our auction calendar, our over-the-counter database, uh, all of the online auctions. We're going to have all that information. Uh, you know, of course, our training center, our member center. Uh, and so if there's anything we can do, definitely go to taxsellsupport.com. You can sign up for membership. Uh, it's only $29 a month. You can cancel at any time. And then, of course, uh, in addition to that, we do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you're not going to find a, a better training program for 30 bucks a month that has more tools. Uh, every single week, uh, we get on the uh, we have a weekly webinar where Shade and I uh, spend an hour uh, going through teaching new topics, uh, answering questions, and so it's, you know you're just, it's just really one of the best memberships you can get. It's the best bang for your buck. So if you have any questions, definitely sign up. I would love to be help, help you, and hopefully maybe we'll see you at the auction. Thank you, and and have a good day, and thanks for watching this video.